In this video, we're going to take a look at graphing points in three dimensions. Now, we're probably pretty familiar with graphing points in two dimensions, x, y. Well, three dimensions adds this diagonal, and it turns out that that's the one we're going to call x. Then we have our y, which is horizontal, and z, which is vertical. So now we have three numbers that it requires to get us to a point. You could also think of this as these two being flat, the y and the z being flat, and this is x1 being coming straight up through your paper or through the screen and the other end of it going backward out the screen. So that's a, a way we can think of that. The graphing, we're going to start with the diagonal going either forward or back depending on if it's positive or negative and then it's very similar to the other graphing that we've done in that the next we go left or right finally we go up or down so let's dig in and take a look at graphing some of these points this first one we have the point A at 1 5 negative 2 so the first thing we're gonna do is move forward 1 because <clears throat> that's how far um, the uh, that's what the x coordinate is and I'm just going to put in here some dotted lines as we move just to show how um, we're making these moves from one from the origin to get out to our point. So I'm going to start in the middle here and I'm going to move till I get, oops, I want to flip this the other way here. I'm going to move until. I get to that final point. So I start here at the origin again and I'm gonna go one forward because this is the positive direction on the X. Then from there next I go left or right and in this case it's five and it's positive five so that's gonna take us to the right. So I go ahead and from this point where I'm at I'm going to go over here, 5 to the right. Now, we have to kind of guesstimate a little bit here. Um, that distance there is 5 out to there from back there. So right about here probably is about 5. So then our final point, or our final part of our um, point here is negative 2. So that means from this point we're going to go down 2. So, finally, from here, I'm going to go down 2, and that gets me to my final point, which we call A. So, right here is the point A. Okay, let's try this next one. In this case, we have negative 2 starting out. I'm going to switch colors here. And for this one, negative 2, well, negatives, we start on the X, the diagonal. So we're going to go back 2, so that's going to put us about here. Then it says 0, so that means we don't go left or right at all. And then the last number is 4, that tells us how far up or down we go. So we're going to go up 4, so our final point, B, is right up here. So there's our point B. It might be a little bit harder to see what's going on if we don't draw those dashed lines those dashed lines can really help us to understand okay we're moving forward to the right and then down versus just putting the points in there so it's not a bad idea to do that okay let's take a look at this next one C 333 three, three. alright well first we're gonna come forward so I'm gonna start in the middle I'm gonna draw my lines on this one again to 3 which is probably about right there then my next one is 3 which would be a positive 3 so that's going to be 3 to the right so from where we were right there now we move 3 to the right that's going to be something about like that and then finally I'm going to move 3 in my vertical direction so from where I'm at right there I'm going to go up 3 is going to put me right about there. Okay, and that 
is my point C right there so notice how the arrows kind of help me place it in space if we would flip that down we would see that it's sitting kind of in that uh, front front right section of our three-dimensional um, coordinate system here okay let's go over here and take a look at these this first one D the point D we're going to start always at the origin so we're right here in the middle and it's a positive two so that means I come two forward that's gonna be something about like that then I'm going to move the next one which is negative three well negative three negative the horizontal direction is to the left so I go from here and I'm gonna go over three well, that was two so three probably something about like that then finally I have one that's my vertical um, distance here and I'm just gonna go ahead and go up one from right there something about like so okay so there is my point D now let's try E we're on a roll here so E says zero okay so that means I'm gonna move forward zero so I stay right here in the middle then I'm gonna move to the left because it's negative four so I from the origin I'm still at the origin because my forward movement was none this way I'm going four because it's a negative four so I'm about right there and then a negative one which is gonna take me down one now one thing I want you to notice here is that see how these two different points we look kinda like we're in the same place but this purple one is really behind by two units because this one was moved up two units that one was moved forward two units and this one was zero so that's over and back behind the other one so just kinda get a feel for how those things fit together there and hopefully sometimes the three dimensions can be a little bit confusing at first but the more you work with it the better you'll get so don't give up keep after it okay finally we've got the point negative three zero zero okay so negative three well that's gonna be back three so we're gonna just go back three here and then it's zero zero from there so I go back three it's about right there then it's zero to the left or right and zero up or down so that means that I just end up right on the the x-axis in this case with my point F okay notice that remember when we're graphing points in three dimensions we go ahead and we graph the coordinates in order the first thing we do is go forward or back on that diagonal then we go left or right on the Y and then finally we go up or down on the Z remember the positive directions this is positive forward to the right is positive and up is positive or the negative directions going back on that diagonal going to the left or going down also notice how these lines are parallel to the axis. so when we move out to the right here we're moving that many units in a direction that's parallel to that axis so be aware of that and also notice the vertical ones are also going parallel to those axes so hopefully this is helpful um, graphing points in three dimensions keep working hard on your math and I know you'll do great